Killer. Base is loaded. Uh huh. Zeke on first. Santana on uh. second. Jim on third. Yeah. I'm at back. One about to hit two. About to the world. Killer. What is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're taking a look at another fragrance from the House of Artisan and Parfumé. This one is called La Traversie du Bois 4. We've reviewed a lot of fragrances from this house on this channel. Uh, I know I've done Cordovet of Versacra, Zing, T for Two, Skin on Skin, Boifarine, Noir Exquis. I know there's some more that I have to review that I own. Um, Zonka, which I still can't find after I moved a couple times, but I'm still hoping it's going to pop out. If not, I'll buy another bottle. I still have to review Timbuktu, and I still have to review uh, Vini Absumo or Havan Vini. On my purchase list from this house, still a lot more. I've definitely slowed down as I've started making perfumes, but I love La Artisan. I think the prices are great. The scents have this playfulness to them, but are very high quality. I love the aesthetic. Uh, they work with a, a really large amount of perfumers, and they're one of the first, if not the first, niche houses out there, of course, started by the great Jean-Francois Laporte. Now, if you want some backstory on the brand that is La Artisan, please do check out the video that I did a while back on Coer de Vetiver Sacra. I broke down the entire history. Uh, this, I think, was the third scent I purchased from the house. I got Coer de Vetiver Sacra first because the price was so good online. And then I got T for two because I saw it um, in a store uh, for retail before it was re-released. And I knew it was hard to get, so I, I grabbed it. And then this one was, was up next because I was so happy with those. And I just love the notes on this one. And I actually wound up blind buying this one, to be honest with you guys. This one was released in 2010 by perfumer Bertrand Duchot IV. Uh, he, when it comes down to it, you know, I, I still sometimes go back and forth on favorite perfumers and he might be my favorite when all said and done there's so many fragrances that he's done that i love whether it be copal azor by ace de venustis fusion sacri louis uh by Majda bacali sartorial by ben halligan's jubilation 25 these are scents that i love now the note breakdown on this one is red apple pomegranate and spices at the top saffron leather pink tulip iris and tobacco in the middle rose white honey sugar pistachio nougat and musk in the base this one was inspired by a trip Bertrand Duchot Fort took to Istanbul it is eau de parfum strength retail on this one is like 165 for 100 ml or like 95 for 50 ml i think these were raised recently but if you're looking for these in new york city you're going to go to your usual suspects like blue mercury barney's twisted lily lucky scent carries this one i got mine discounted online i think from like fragrance net i got like a 50 ml this for 45 dollars and i've seen 100 mls online of this for as little as 60 dollars as far as your presentation goes, this is the old school uh, La Artisan packaging where it's got that um, sort of old school aesthetic La Artisan um, etched there, the sticker, the super heavy cap that clicks into place and the just amazing sprayer and information on the bottom. These have changed. I really prefer this old sort of whimsical aesthetic to the newer design. I'm not a huge fan of, of the newer design, just to be 100% frank with you guys. I don't have the box, but if you've seen these old boxes, you've seen all of them for La Artisan, so it's not something new. I actually do have the box, it's just with thousands or hundreds of other boxes. Um, what do I think of this fragrance? I think this is maybe, for me, the most underrated scent or at least one of the most underrated scents by La Artisan, at least probably the most that I've come across, it, it's gorgeous. Um, it's not a gourmand, but I would say semi-gourmand. The apple pops, the sugar pops, the nougat pops. The idea was to make this smell like a Turkish to light candy, and I very much get that. 
And at the top of this one, you're going to get apple and pomegranate hit and mixed with some very smooth iris, a suede and leather note and saffron. And that's really how you should think about this one. If the idea of apple and suede and iris with some marshmallow-like nougat sounds appealing to you, then I think you will dig this one. What I really like about this one is that the apple isn't green or tart. It's very red and juicy and mixed with the iris and suede and sugar. It's very unusual and unconventional, um, unconventional combination. But, but but just really ingenious. And as it evolves on the skin, you're gonna get some saffron and some florals, the rose and the tulip combination, but the suede stays there, the sweetness stays there, and the iris is always there as well. The dry down in this one is a sweet, um, smooth suede. Uh, and, and as it dries down, you get a little bit of more nuttiness from the pistachio. It's, it's interesting, it's distinct, and it never gets cloying or overbearing in my opinion. Performance, to me, excellent on this one. It's auto parfum, it projects, it lasts on the skin. Nice sillage. Um, a lot of times people say they don't get good performance on the artisan scents, which I, I agree with on occasion. This is not one of those. Uh, it's a unisex fragrance, fragrance, but might lean a bit feminine with the florals and the sweetness, but I, I would say it's really unisex. Great for fall and spring, can hold you down in the winter as a gourmand. Um, too much for the summer with the Eau de Parfum concentration, and for me, I would use this as a date night or night out scent, and, and I'd say be easy on the trigger. Um, you want to keep it light so you, this one can maintain its sort of classy and dressy um, status. Comparisons to this one, really only two fragrances, I'd say. Skin on skin, right? That's another one the artisan did that's drier, more about booze and suede. And then, of course, Josh Meyer um, uh, recently did uh, Slow Explosions, which um, to me, these are super close. Slow Explosions and this one, this one's sweeter. Um, I think this one's better, to be honest with you. This almost smells like an extreme version of Slow Explosions. So if you like that one, um, but you want something a little bit more substantial, I would check this one out. Um, skin on Skin is also done by Dusha 4, so check that one out. I think this is sort of, that's sort of a more fine version of this fragrance. And I'd say Slow Explosions is sort of a lighter version of this fragrance. But those are really the only two that, that really come to mind when I'm thinking of anything that's sort of reminiscent of this one. If someone were trying to talk you into purchasing this scent, I think they would tell you that. You can get this at a great price. It's unique. It's a sleeper. Um, mass appeal and a quality La Artisan fragrance by Bertrand du Chauffeur. If someone were trying to talk you out of it, I think they'd say that some people might find this too feminine, too cloying, too sweet. I love this one, guys. And for the price you can find this at, in terms of originality, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. You know, if you had to pay full retail for this, it might be a different story. But when you can get this for like 60 or 70 bucks in the performance, in the note breakdown, it's unique, it's du four, it's versatile, it won't make you smell like everyone else. Other people have tried to do this fragrance and this reigns supreme as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, my only gripe with this scent is that there are better gourmand scents out there, but this is fucking really good. Um, and uh, really no one on YouTube talks about this one too much. There was a reviewer that used to be out there named Claude. Um, I think he has um, a blog out there now, something about style, something style or whatnot. And I forget his YouTube name, but he actually was really the only dude I ever heard talk about this one. And style Attorney, that's his that's his blog name. He's the only one I heard talk about this one. And, and he actually made me check it out. He doesn't do fragrance reviews anymore, but he made me check it out. And so I give him the credit for this one. But this is a fantastic fragrance. Definitely, definitely check this one out. Um, and that's it, guys. Let me know what your favorite La Artisan fragrance is. If you've checked this one out, I'd love to hear about it. Do you think it's close to Slow Explosions? Uh, what do you like from La Artisan? Is it too femme for you, too gourmand? I want to hear your feedback. 
Um, and that's it, guys. I'll see you next week with more videos. You already know what it is. My name is Maximilian, and I must not.